are written on the screen. This sounds really good. What? Okay, let yeah. me, I'm into this. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's called Raised on Kenny. No way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she just comes running in. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. And I watch it. I, it. It took me like the first, uh, getting to the first course. I'm like, holy crap, that is really good. <laughs> the melody, the, the vibe of it, you know, it's not only just the lyrics, but it's the whole feel of it. I was like, yeah. Oh, dude, he's got to come out with this one. This one's a hit. I'm telling yeah. you. But talk, talk to me about Raised on Kenny, because that's something yeah, that, I believe you are getting ready to release, correct? We are, yeah. We're, we're actually supposed to film a music video for it tomorrow. It's supposed to rain here, so I don't think that's going to happen, but um, we'll, we'll reschedule it. But it was, a, it was a song that came together over about a two-month time period, and we finally finished the whole writing on the beach in St. John. It was about, I think, like 8 o'clock. I was with my lady, Olivia. And we were sitting on the beach and I'm just thinking it's eight o'clock. It's getting dark. Bugs are coming out. We threw around a bunch of bug spray. I was like, I don't, we cannot leave the beach until this song is done. We've got to finish it. <laughs> and I, I was like, this is a perfect place, perfect time to do it. And uh, full moon is a beautiful night. We had the whole beach to ourselves. And we just sat there till like almost 11 o'clock and finished that final verse. And I really speak pretty, I mean, the both of us wrote the final verse, Livia and I, and, probably my favorite experience of writing a song was putting that thing together. And uh, I would say it's probably my favorite now to play. It's just, it's got so much energy into it. And I feel like Kenny holds a song or an album for every chapter of our lives growing up. I mean, I, if a song plays on the radio and it's by Kenny, I'm right away taken to a certain time in my life where that song came out and I was there. So he's, I mean, he's gotten me through heartbreaks. He's gotten me through, jobs that I didn't want to go to anymore. He's gotten me through the hardest, darkest times to the brightest, happiest times. So it's, it's something really profound, I think, for an artist to do that. And now as an artist myself, I feel like it's almost owed. I think it just pays so much, so much love and respect to the, to the legacy that Kenny's leaving to this world because 100, 200, 300 years from now, I firmly believe his music will be played. And, uh, and I think that this song is a, just a reinforcement of the impact that he makes on everybody, including you guys. Yeah, so. definitely there's a connection there. And it's so good that uh, you felt uh, that connection with him to be, to be able to be inspired to write a song like that and mm -hmm. really kind of bring out the energy uh, in you to a song. Uh, I'm, I was telling her last night, I'm like, I'm so interested and can't wait for the final version to come out because i've watched the acoustic version which i love so much because it's kind of stripped down yeah just you, know, raw, you just yeah. feel you it's raw uh, again i i can't wait to see the final version or i should say see but hear the final version that's, yes i know yeah. it's gonna be spectacular well, definitely and you, definitely and ben you're talking about just you know wrapping it up the writing um on the beach and mm -hmm. i got goosebumps thinking about that because that is very cool yeah, um and cool. also there everyone needs to go and check out ben's instagram because you have a clip there you have a post mm -hmm. where it's uh snippets of you actually i think right um, yes yes writing it you're playing guitar and you're you know yeah. Talking about trying to figure it out yes it's yeah. very cool because we sat there and the only deliberate part of that song is we wanted to use as many song titles and references as we could yeah, yeah. but not in a in a cheap way we wanted to do it in a, in, a, in a tasteful way it had to say like tell the story and and we were able to fit 26 total songs or song references i think i think we really did a, a pretty decent job of of reflecting kenny's music uh in the lyrical sense so yeah uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think a lot of Kenny fans will definitely, definitely dig it. Lyr yeah, lyrics, but also like the vibe of the acoustic version too mm -hmm. draws you in because it's so, it just, um, it's just so good. So again, can't wait. <laughs>